This pattern I'm using is a Vogue pattern and the details will be in the description box below. I started off by making the dress by stitching the darts at the front and at the back and pressing those flat. It then has a, a centre seam because it has a side zip. So each of those seams has to be stitched and then pressed flat. Um, the very edge of the V has a self-facing. So you have to iron it flat by six millimetres, then stitch it and then flip it over, which you can see here, and the facing will then lay flat on the inside. There are facings for the armholes. So these are the pictures here as well. Um, and each one is then stitched together at the ends and then the seam is opened and ironed flat. You pin it to the outside of the armhole um, and then you stitch it on the recommended stitch allowance and then you will trim it down. This just reduces any bulk at the seam um, and it just makes it a bit neater for stitching. I then opened it out again and understitched it. This means that it will sit flat and it shouldn't then poke out when you're wearing it as the dress. Um, you also, I forgot to say, you also have to finish the, the raw edge, which I've done here. It then sits from the inside. Um, any stitching will be on the inside of the garment and you cannot see any outside stitching from any of the facings. You then have to make sure that you've hand stitched lightly the facing to the seam. The next part up is the skirt part. There are four panels to cut. Once you've done this, you need to sew them all together and open out the seams and iron them flat, leaving a space for the zip. You gather all of this and it does take a little while because there's a lot of fabric there to gather. You also whip stitch by hand the ends of the zip so it's closed and then insert your zip into the side of the dress. I used a concealed zip, but that was just my preferred method of zip. Um, you can use a, a lap zip. The pattern then also recommends using a waist belt, which I've then pinned, um, and I stitch it to the gathers in the seam allowance, so none of the stitching will th show through on the outside bodice, and then you put a hook and eye, so you can do this up and it keeps the dress from riding up when you're wearing it. The last part is the cummerbund. As you can see from this picture here, I actually ran out of fabric, so I had to piece together um, and do the best I could to try and make the cummerbund pattern, um, which is basically a tube of fabric that you've sewn and you slip stitch the very end of it. You can There are gathers to tie the end and then the middle, but the middle ones actually came undone. Um, and you do a hook and eye at either end, which enables you to secure it at the back over the top of the dress. So it's actually separate from the dress piece. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.